This defining moment in that violent attack on January 6th will mean 10 years in jail for Dominic Pizzola, the man breaking the window with a stolen riot shield, breaching the building. Oh, boys. And for Ethan Nordeen, seen here leading a group to the Capitol on that day, 18 years. In court, Judge Timothy Kelly called what happened a national disgrace as he handed down the heavy sentences. Pozzola has been convicted of several charges, including assaulting an officer and robbery involving government property. Nordine of the more serious charge of seditious conspiracy. After he was sentenced, Pozzola raised a fist in court and said, Trump won. In a statement released after their sentencing, the U.S. Department of Justice said the two men recruited and participated in every consequential breach at the Capitol, adding that Nordine and Pozzola mobilized and led a group of Proud Boys onto the Capitol grounds, leading to the dismantling of metal barricades, destruction of property, breaching of the Capitol building, and assaults on law enforcement. One of those police officers injured, Michael Fanone, who's concerned that even with such punishing consequences, many still believe the election was stolen. I, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have the influence on other Trump supporters and MAGA supporters and other elected members of our government who continue to peddle the lies. I think that the, the ripple effects of January 6th will come to haunt us for probably all of eternity. Nordine's sentence ties for the longest in all the Capitol riots convictions so far. But next week, prosecutors are asking for 33 years for Enrique Tario, the leader of the Proud Boys. Chris Reyes, CBC News, New York.